Greetings from U.S. to D360. I'm Melody Way. Last week, U.S. to D360 reported that RAM, Remote Area Medical, and City Foundation set up free clinics in the Los Angeles sports arena. As the United States files for the first line of defense with health care laws in court, the organizations can still make an impact by filling in the gaps where the plan cannot. For many who are underinsured, or worse, fall into the uninsured category. The need for vision care is among the greatest due to unaffordable deductibles. In a matter of hours, RAM staff member Judy Dandridge will be making hundreds of pairs of glasses over the course of a single day. The service is free. No one knows how many patients will show up. But, a little bit after 6 a.m., when a RAM volunteer opens the gate of the sports arena, we're given an indication. Zero to 99. People with numbered wristbands walk through the gate, check in at the register, and then get on to different lines. The vision line, dental line, or general medicine line. I got here this morning at 7.30. I was supposed to have been here um, between 7 and 7.30. They go by the number that's on the band. Yeah, this has just been the longest, slowest line. Seal's vision is so bad that she can't drive. She had to take a bus in order to get to the arena. It's a long process, but it's worth it. It's worth it. How are you doing today? Seal's has a pair of three-year-old eyeglasses which she can't see out of anymore. After waiting for an hour, Seals is seen by Dr. Hogger. So how bad her vision is? Well, without glasses, actually quite bad. And uh, But with some help, it could make it a little bit better. So, you know, there's so many people here today that are really needing that type of help. And I'm glad that we can help provide for that. Dr. Hoggart writes Seals a prescription for a new pair of eyeglasses, which he will try to fill that same day. Seals, a disabled senior citizen from Los Angeles, receives major medical insurance through the government. Even so, her deductible for a routine doctor's visit is $50, and a pair of eyeglasses costs too much. No one really knows how many Americans are underinsured like Seals. Seals will get one of the hundreds of pairs of glasses that Ram is giving out today. In the trunk nearby, Dandridge and her colleagues work furiously, making one pair every six minutes. On Tuesday, we did 135, then Wednesday, 189, Thursday, 284, Friday, 105, and Saturday, 103. Um, today, it's been real busy this morning, so probably looking another couple hundred today. I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow. Tomorrow. Many patients need to return the following morning to receive their new eyeglasses. Seals, unfortunately, is one of them. The same place you did this morning to get in. Okay. He'll be there with Paul Hart and call you. Okay, 8 o'clock. All right, thank you. On the other side of the workstation, those who came in early and were fortunate enough to receive their glasses the very same day are excitedly choosing their frames. Very happy to get your new glasses? Yes. Nine-year-old Kyla needs glasses to read the blackboard in class. Her parents are not insured. Now, getting a pair of new glasses is like receiving a Christmas gift. Okay, thank you. Kyla and her mother are now leaving, as is Seals. Kyla is done with this year's RAM. But tomorrow, SEALs will have to wake up at 3 in the morning, catch her bus at 5, and arrive at the arena by 8. But it's worth it. When you can't afford it, it's worth it. That's how come I, I want the health care, universal health care for everybody. SEALs is certain that health care reform will prove helpful to many, but not all of her fellow patients are so optimistic. Obama is doing the best he can, but... You know, he just, I mean, you know, we still have a long ways to go. 
These days, the question of whether the president's new health care reform initiative will reduce the need for free clinics is often raised. The experts have a say. The answer is no. The population here, they still have facing a lot of challenge. Even though you have medical insurance, you're going to face a lot of yourself supporting. Like if your insurance is per month $20 or $200 or $300, you still have the capacity and the percentage that you need to pay by yourself. So there's a lot of tricky area and complicated areas that people still need to have this kind of free health care. Los Angeles County Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas announced this year's RAM LA the day after President Obama signed the National Health Care Reform Bill. Perhaps this is why he declared that this event could not be more timely. The need for free health care to plug in coverage gaps and help out those who are underinsured is still very great. Thank you.